So, so we are a fun house. It started as our experiment to see what we can do with physics and VR. Uh, but we fell in love with it pretty quickly and, and decided to actually turn it into uh, some fun little games. It's built on Unreal Engine 4, on UE4. Alright, and in this first level, um, we have a bunch of physical objects in the scene that you can play around with. So this is the sort of thing if if you um, if you just watch somebody doing it in a video or whatever, it's not that interesting. But in virtual reality, when you're actually there, uh, it's pretty cool uh, to, to, to be able to do things like pick up multiple balls and then use them to, to pick up other balls. Normally, objects would just move through each other or or uh, move kinematically and not actually react correctly to each other. So why don't you show them what you can do in here. All right. So pick two of them up, please. Just two small ones are fine. Now try to pick up another object with both of them. Ah, squeeze. Really? Yeah? Okay. Uh, that's probably not the best one to do. I, well. <laughs> and show some destruction. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the next one. This is the intro level. All right, and here we're using um, the fluid dynamics uh, simulated with our flex system. We've shown flex in various forms. It's a unified solver that lets us do many different kinds of physical effects uh, with interaction with each other. It's really fun in, inside virtual reality. <laughs> Go ahead, you can shoot the floor. It's okay. I was going to leave that for everybody right. else to find out. Uh, this, this demo is using, this level is using a new technology we announced at GTC. It is our latest um, fluid dynamic simulation. Uh, what's, what's really cool about the new system called Flow is that we only simulate and store uh, information about the fluids near the areas it exists in space. All previous solutions uh, were, were uh, simulating within a box, which caused a lot of inefficiency. And you can see she can burn, burn the arrows, and then when she shoots stuff with it, that stuff catches on fire too. Why don't you pick up Burn one of the arrows and just kind of wave it around. Sure. Don't, don't put it in the boat. It's kind of fun to play with it in front of your face. And it's really? true three-dimensional fire. It, it's not sprites and particles like you would normally have in a game. And um, you can see in, uh, in any other virtual reality game-like simulation oh. uh, problems wow. with the sprites. Cool. Let's go on to the next one. This year is one that doesn't translate well to the big screen, but it's one of the most fun ones in my opinion. Uh, you have these balloons that you can pop. You can touch them with a the flat edge of the sword and see how they move. But poke through them and you get this confetti that's uh, floating around inside the uh, in, in air, which is being simulated by our fluid dynamic simulation. So why don't you wave the swords around and you can show that the sword is actually oh, cool. interacting with all of the confetti around. All right, next one. This is also using flex, but a different aspect of flex. This is a soft body simulation and uh, it's very accurate. Why don't you pick one up and just kind of wiggle it 
back and forth. And then you can even slingshot it. <coughs> but you need to let go at exactly the right times. Thanks, Ref. Yeah. <laughs> he won't be slingshotting. Pick up, slingsh use one hand uh, on one tentacle and another hand on another instead of the body. Oh, that should work too. <laughs> it's okay, Victoria, we still love you. <laughs> Thanks. The other fun thing about this is as your score goes up, if you knock the, the wall walkers down, your score goes back down. So it's pretty fun because you have to make sure you don't knock them off as you're adding to your score. The, the adhesion on the uh, soft bodies is actually realistic. <laughs> it's using the same same stuff we've shown in Flex previously. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is my favorite. They're so cute and cuddly. So here we have uh, <laughs> these capsule dudes on springs. That's being um, simulated with rigid bodies, and I believe we're using soft bodies for for the um, actual heads. And then we have hair works to give Donald Trump like hair there. <laughs> this is a standard basketball carnival type game. The balls interact with um, with the nets, which are modeled with cloth, flex cloth. And you can also, why don't you pick one and just bounce it against that wooden board? Hard. Hard? No, turn around? Yeah. Right. The board in front of you. Uh, oh, this? Yes. I, I can't tell where you're gesturing. <laughs> and if you do it closer, like lower where the, where the specular, the shine is. Yeah. Yeah, bounce right there. No. There. Right there. Yeah. Uh, if you do it hard enough, it bounces pretty high, much like a what you would expect from a basketball. I'm not stuck very. I'm just very bad at communicating into the world of VR. Did you get one in there? Not yet. <laughs> we can wait all day. Oh. <laughs> Time's up. Dang. Next one. If you do get it in there, you get like a little confetti surprise. Uh, Whack-a-mole type game. Got our little hair works guys back. Besides the objects you're supposed to shoot, you can actually shoot the wooden planks that are uh, in there. Shoot them enough, they'll... Oh, I haven't done that yet. Cool. All right, let's go into the next one. This is the cannon, I believe, which is similar. This one's kind of fun. Oh, jeez. That's using our destruction technology. So that concludes the demos we have here, or the specific levels, sorry, it's a game. Um, what, what I'd like to highlight is that this started as just us doing some experimentation, a science project, to see what physics in VR would be like. It ended up being so much fun, we decided to make a game out of it. We use UE4 as our platform to do this, and uh, a nice side effect of that is that we didn't actually have to have uh, much engineering work 
to actually create the game. We have engineering work to create the technologies, but we provide them all through Unreal Engine. So our technical artists could just take all of that work we did and assemble a game from it without, without having direct help from the engineers. Um, as a result, we thought, well, this, it'd be cool if other people joined in and started working with us on this. Um, it's essentially a platform to experiment with physics and VR, so let's just put it out there. All of the technology behind it, we've integrated into UE4 and make available on GitHub uh, for, for anybody already using UE4. So we're going to put all of the game assets and the game itself out in open source so other people can modify it and create their own mini games or, or make changes that they, they think should be there. And that concludes the VR portion. If uh, anybody has any questions about what we just saw,